Today in this video we will discuss about Westphalia separator. Uh, we will cover two types of purifier in this video. So this one is the HFO purifier or heavy oil purifier and the other one we will be having is the lupal purifier. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what parts we have for the purifier. First of all, this is the inlet valve for the feed, and this is the water pipe for the operating and uh, conditioning motor. This is the electric motor which is driving the purifier, and uh, here inside you have this clutch. Uh, the clutch is pretty big one and inside and it's driven by the belt. As we know in Westphalia, it's driven by the belt. And this place is a brake. This is spring loaded and always screw tight so if you want to engage the brake you have to open it. Okay so this was the drive part and uh, and to check the belt and inside the drive case there is two transparent uh, glasses. Okay now let's move to the other parts of the purifier. So this is the water block for opening and closing water and operating water as well and then it, you can see one pipe goes below for opening and closing and one pipe goes for the operating water on the top of the purifier and uh, this is the feed well and then we have the temperature sensor then flow control well and here it is the three way pneumatic valve which changes the flow to the purifier or for the recirculation. And then from this well, it goes to the inlet to the purifier. There is a pressure gauge. Usually it's a flow gauge with pressure indication. And this here you have this uh, electronic uh, instrument. The first one was the pressure sensor and this is the water monitoring sensor. It's the whole assembly is for that only, for the water monitoring. So you have two uh, uh, sludge or you can outlet for the dirty water or oil, one is the below one and this is the major one when the purifier desludges and it has this uh, valve also butterfly which is connected with the safety switch so if the valve is closed you cannot start the purifier. This is like a safety, safety installment on this one. And uh, here you can see the crankcase oil in this transparent glass. Here comes the back pressure gauge and this is the back pressure control well. Usually on this purifier we are keeping around two bars. Okay, let's have a look at the small purifier. This is a lube oil purifier which is smaller one specifically for the generators. More or less the parts are quite same like the inlet well, then you have temperatures in the flow control well, then three way well, which is operated pneumatically. Then you have the water line. The only difference you can see in the in the upcoming video is that, as you can see, the wa water monitoring sensor is missing because it's just a loop oil purifier. And rest, most of the things are quite common, as similar to the HFO purifier. So one is a back pressure sensor. So this is the inlet pipe to the purifier with the pressure gauge. This is the operating water inlet. And then you have the outlet with the outlet valve for the pressure control. Okay, this one is the dirty water discharge outlet. It has a pressure sensor also. It comes with the throttle valve inside. So it actually it goes uh, into the same pipe where the desludge water goes. That is the pressure sensor for the back pressure and this is for the dirty water discharge. And then you have this sludge pipe again and the one for the dirty water. And then again a sludge uh, valve with the safety switch so that you cannot operate if the purifier outlet valve is closed. On the other side it's pretty much similar to the HFO purifier. Same as like that, you have 
in the clutch inside thank you for watching this video